Welcome back to the I Heat YouTube channel. Today we're doing a day in the life, but it's a servicing episode where we're going to three different houses, doing three different properties and servicing the boilers. Sai is currently downstairs cleaning out the condensate trap of this wonderful Worcester 4000, which was installed a year ago from I Heat ourselves. For servicing, we are going to be doing a flu analyzing test, a fan pressure test and a gas rate. And also checking the general installation to make sure it's all up to scratch and to gas safety regulations and manufacturer specification. Now I'll move on to doing a fan pressure test where I've isolated the boiler. So I'll flip the power back on, remove my dust sheet as I was protecting the board and just let the boiler go through its cycle. Just gonna set the boiler in maximum mode. So just hold the service button for three seconds go through the menu and it'll just display some options while we're running max or minimum mode just with up and down keep that safe don't lose it and then we're looking for a negative pressure from the fan just checking how clean the boiler is and get a reading there on the analyzer which will go through the manufacturing instructions and check it complies uh, so how long do services normally take then um it varies on the age of the boiler anywhere between sort of you know 20 minutes to 45 minutes so but with the, the newer models it's uh, it's a little bit quicker <laughs> All finished up here at the first property of the day. We are now going to follow Simon in the van uh, to the next location to do the next boiler. Filters all cleaned out, paperwork's all done. Simon's just doing the gas test downstairs before we head off to the next location. Let's head over. <laughs> I'll give you a grand tour of my van. Um, I think it's clean. Um, just everything you need really for uh, for servicing and installing different bits of tools um, today obviously we're servicing so I've got a pack ready where I keep my nice little Milwaukee tool bag with everything inside bits of grease testing for electrical and different screwdrivers also got my trusty analyzer bag and dust sheet keep the property clean um, so uh, keeps everybody happy and a little plum tub just for any spillages and water when I'm cleaning out the trap and the filter. It's rock and roll. We've got a one of the new Weisman 050, uh, the new range. Um, quite a good boiler. Will it be the same process as the last one then? Same sort of thing? Yeah, you're doing? the same same process as the last one. Obviously, it's a little bit more, a little bit different because it's a different boiler. So we'll check the manufacturing instructions. Okay go through if there's any any different procedures um, we don't check the fan pressure on this one like we do on the Worcesters and uh, on point for it so um, oh sure there's no test point on the fan on the Wiesman it's on the Worcesters yes right. it's sort of if I remember rightly it's more just for the Worcesters that we test that really yeah we get that out nice and easy beautiful installers and my friends today give it a little clean it's easy as that Onto the magnets off. Take that back. Come with a little rubber washer. Sometimes they need replacing. I think we're on one or two years servicing, so we should be fine. That goes back on. Check everything's tight. Put it back together, and we'll turn it on. Do you prefer doing servicing or installs? Um, I am sort of predominantly an installation engineer, but as I was talking to Ben before. It is quite sort of difficult on your body at times if you're doing it day in day out. So I do like doing the service in it. It's a break. It breaks up um, the day to day. Also, it keeps you keeps you fresh. I'm aware of what it is. Yeah, on other things, you get to see it from from both perspectives. You know, just as an installation engineer, like I say, we might have service and breakdown engineers going, "Oh, you put this in the wrong place," or you do this and it makes it awkward, and you get a better understanding for everyone then. Yeah. So. Do you like seeing everyone else's installs, see how they've done it? I do, yeah, because then I can criticise them and just say, oh, I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, 
Yep, so we've completed the service now. We'll just fill out the benchmark, uh, sign that, hand it back over to the customer, and then off to the next one. <laughs> next job, where are we? Uh, we're over in Liverpool now, sort of heating up into the day. It's a warm one. Um, we're on the third one, so we're getting through them pretty good. Um, 4,000 again. Yeah, another, another Worcester 4,000. Um, probably one of my favourite boilers at the minute. They, they look the part, um, they're really easy to work on, they're great to fit, so Worcester have actually listened to a mm. couple of the engineer things, so yeah, well done on that one. We'll just protect the board again. I'm just gonna do a quick run upstairs because the main isolator's there, so we're gonna make the power safe and uh, crack on. I think we should go to Hannah's kitchen. Is this, for, is this for food, you mean? Yeah. I've never waited so long for a bacon butty in all my life. <laughs> About an hour for a bacon butty, it felt like. That was shocking. My ham and cheese toasty came pretty much straight away, and I thought Ben's would be around the corner, but no, of course not. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. It's junky. Right, okay, let's go. Oh, it's good. Was it worth the wait? Yeah, it was actually. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> We've got sausage, bacon, and egg, just that. And sausage, bacon, oh, and cheese. And cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. We've gone full fat. The weight's got to come into the conversation. Yeah, 100%. The weight's got to come into the conversation. However, she's pulled it back to a positive score. I reckon she can have a seven. <laughs> Before it wasn't a positive score. <laughs> it has been sat there a while. Eh, uh, looks okay. Looks okay. Cheese is still there. It's just a ham and cheese toast, mate. Isn't, <laughs> isn't that great? Uh, six, and then the weight for yours would probably make it to a four. Right, let's, uh, let's go back to site and complain about it to buddy Simon. Sorry, Hannah. Isn't that great? Sorry, Hannah. Do you ever see a boiler on the job and go, ah, oh, I don't even wanna, don't wanna go near that one? <sighs> yeah, so some of the older ones, um, you know, like you'd be Azzy and Raven eating things like that. They've yeah. not got a great reputation, and at the end of the day, what do you expect for? A boiler from being q 400 quid <laughs> you're better off going for you know something like this um well-known manufacturers long warranties mm. you know you're in safe hands with them as a customer and we recommend them as installers you know if we we were going to put something in our own house they're generally yeah. the boilers that you guys would offer so <laughs> Yep, that's us wrapped up for the day. Um, all sorted. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for watching and uh, following me around for the day. Cheers.